Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome, 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 Blue Witch Presents. Coffee Break with Laura Gonzalez. Hello, Alexa. Guten Abend. Or good evening over there in the other side of the planet in the Europe's in Deutschland because I heard that the real name is not Germany but Deutschland I don't know if I'm correct anyway good morning and welcome to the coffee break and hello Lalsibub welcome welcome so today we're doing tarot, tarot for the week. Woohoo! I'll be home December 17th to January 14th. Oh my goodness, that is so cool. We have to meet, do something. Anyway, um, welcome to the coffee break. And today we have tarot. Piali, Piali, good morning. I'm trying to think how those people say uh, I how how what is the other greeting that people say in the morning? I can't remember. I'm talking about now what? Edin Drum, welcome, welcome, welcome. So we have the Darkwood Tarot today. Darkwood Tarot. Darwood Tarot. Ni Meshtlapaloa. No, the other one that is more modern and we think incorrect. Anyway, Miss Mermaidis, welcome, welcome, welcome. Ni Meshtlapaloa. Ni Meshtlapaloa. Aye, boy, aye, boy. What's up, Euphoria? Welcome, 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 welcome. Lalis Boob, you'll be glad to know that I learned to say Nonantoca Laura Gonzalez, <laughs> which means my name is Laura Gonzalez. But you get to call me Laura. All right, folks, let's uh, breathe. Let us breathe. As we breathe in the life of the trees, we breathe out our carbon dioxide that feeds the trees. Connecting us in this eternal dance of nature and connection. May the divine let us see what needs to be seen today on tarot. And hello, Lucha Luchas. Welcome, welcome, welcome. For those who don't know what this is, Blue Witch presents Coffee Break. We do these videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday when we're able. Sometimes we're working and we can do one day or the other. But let's see what we have for today. This one stuck to my hand. And this one stuck to my hand. So the two that stuck to my hand. Lucha Luchas. Put a little cat in there. Were you one of the fighters yesterday? Lucha Vegan. Oh my god. These folks are just like kicking each other's ass. All right. We have the card of judgment. And is a reverse. Very interesting. Very interesting. Oh, Lucha Lucha, you're the DJ. Okay. Good to know. Mm. So we have judgment and it is reverse. So what does that mean? That means that we are a little bit of balance, not necessarily connected with our better judgment 
And what happens is we might be acting in a judgmental way towards ourselves or others around us. And my job is to let us know, to let ourselves off the hook, to not be so rigid when we judge things, to not hold the bar so, so high that is unattainable, right? And to kind of come back to our center so that we can use our better judgment. Because right now what we're doing is we're being judgmental. And it always begins with self, right? In order for me to be judgmental with others is because I'm being judgmental with myself. So in order for me to not be judgmental to others, I will benefit if I stop being judgmental towards myself. It all begins with self. Always, always, always. On the same breath, we have the seven of swords. Why is everybody, <laughs> why are we being so hard on ourselves? Why, why, why? Again, seven of swords is about like judgment and not having peace of mind and going on the route of overthinking and self-doubt a little bit of a imposter syndrome up there and quite literally we're not thinking clearly so look folks when we are not thinking clearly and the bar is so high that it's unattainable we are not having peace of mind Chances are that we're irritable, that we are sensitive, hypersensitive, that we are being judgmental, that we are almost going to the route of self-destruction. Not ideal for a Monday after Samhain, after the other day, after Halloween. <laughs> Uh, maybe we have some excesses and we are judging ourselves from those. If you had too much candy, it's okay. It's okay. Whatever we did over the weekend is okay. We can let ourselves off the hook. More importantly, my friends, because letting ourselves off the hook allow us to let others off the hook. I see Lalis, Lals, Lalsi Boop crying i'm crying with you over there on the on the, <laughs> on the chat my dear because yeah we tend to be yes lucha luchas you nailed it election day has everyone on edge absolutely i think you nailed it on the head i think we're not okay we haven't been okay since the pandemic. We haven't been okay since um, the political climate, 2016, etc. And we haven't been okay. There's a lot of wars and genocides and extermination and human lives, immigrants used as pawns on political schemes. And we're not okay. So we are in, on edge. Thank you so much, Lucha Luchas. You just nail it on the head. And then, of course, we get a little bit of time of joy, of joy and mischief over the weekend for Halloween. And then we come back Monday to, ah, I ate too much candy. Both literally and figuratively, you know. So you know what, folks? Give yourself a pat on the back because if you are alive, you're already um, on the other side. And don't forget about Islamophobia. Honey, euphoria, I don't think we can forget about anything, my friend. The whole planet, you know, is like when people ask me, why are you so mad? I'm like, look at the state of the planet. Like, wh how can we not be mad? But the same way we are mad and angry, 
we can be gentle and compassionate and we start with self. Let's not judge ourselves so harshly, right? So that we don't judge others so harshly. And as I'm telling you, I'm telling myself, believe me, because I'm the first one judging myself all the time. Hello, Richard. Welcome, welcome. An Aztec vegan. I had the best pambazo of my life yesterday with Aztec vegan. It was so delicious. And I quite literally haven't had a pambazo in like 25 years. So it was delicious. And if you were another uh, Lucha vegan yesterday, let me tell you, you miss out. Hello, Laura. Oh, hello, Janet. She says, hello, Laura, my love. I will catch up later. Off to work. Uh, be safe and have a good day at work. And thank you for joining Richard and Aztec Vegan. And uh, Lucha Vegan was an event. It was wonderful. Let me tell you about what's going on with me this next uh, weekend. Uh, we have Mindful Baking Cafe on Friday from 12 to 5. So if you are going to be or are around uh, that area on, I always forget what the neighborhood is. Mindful Baking Cafe. Is it Rogers Park? No, it's not Rogers Park. My goodness. Anything planned yet for December? Not yet. Not yet, not yet. I think it's Rogers Park, no? Mindful Baking Cafe. For 1942 West Monrose Avenue, 60613. I don't know the neighborhood. Ravenswood. Ravenswood. Why was I saying Rogers Park? I don't know because I don't know my neighborhoods. Um, I just know the brown line gets there. Ravenswood is telling me uh, Azteca Vegan. Thank you, my dear. Anything planned for December? No yet. I don't think I have, uh, we can just hang out <laughs> because I don't think I have a, a workshop there. There are classes happening, um, but not any like big workshop on December. The big workshop is going to happen next Sunday on November. We have uh, finding, we have Fortuna's Embrace. Fortuna's Embrace. So you can still buy tickets for Fortuna's Embrace. It's going to be on Sunday at 12 noon. And it's from noon to 4 at Papa Locali in Pilsen. And I'm going to tell you a little bit more about Fortuna's Embrace in the next break. But uh, we also have the Colonizing the Goddess. Chicome Coat is going to be November's class. All right. Let us see what the four agreements have for us today. It says, don't make assumptions, learn to ask questions. Don't make assumptions, learn to ask questions. It is always better to ask questions than to make assumptions. Have the courage to ask questions until you are as clear as you can be. Once you hear the answer to a question, you won't have to make assumptions because you will know the truth. Which ties in with the judgment. When we make assumption, we're making a bad judgment. Or we're making a judgment call. And judgment calls aren't always the best. You know, so asking questions for clarity is important. And it's also very important that we are ready to hear the answer when we ask the question. So if you really, really want to know something, then you ask. You know. That's one of my favorite sayings, Alexa. When you assume you make an ass of you and me, that is the truth. So don't make assumptions. Learn to ask questions. It is always better to ask questions than to make assumptions. Have the courage to ask questions until you are as clear as you can be. Once you hear the answer to a question, you won't have to make assumptions because you will know the truth. That is the first oracle for today. 
and um, it ties up very nicely with our judgment situation that we got going today for uh, the reading for the week. And last but not least, we're going to pull another Halloween card because I do what I want. Halloween ain't over until I say it's over. And, uh, no, for real, I want to tell you about uh, the Colonizing the Goddess. is going to be Chico Mecoat. We're going to talk about abundance and prosperity and food and corn and all of that. Sustenance and um, fertility. But the big event is the Fortuna's Embrace class. Fortuna's Embrace is all about rebuilding, first assessing our relationship with wealth and abundance, and then letting go of old ideas that don't serve us about wealth and abundance, and then creating a new path, a new thought, a new way of making that relationship with good fortune, with abundance, with wealth, and by um, addition with money, with connections, with community, you know. Hello, Petrusha Finclair. Um, how do you say saludos? I in, in Portuguese, I don't even know how to say saludos in Portuguese. I swear the only word I know how to say in Portuguese is thank you, which is obrigada. Uh, Petrusha Finclair, if you've never heard of Petrusha Finclair, you're missing out. Paganos del Mundo, she does... Uh, podcast in Portuguese and she is fantastic she interviews all these Portuguese pagans oi 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 Petrusha beautiful so folks Fortuna's Embrace on Sunday you can still have tickets if you've been to any prior of my uh, workshops you get a secret code discount uh, let me know if you don't know what the discount is and if you want to be on the online, the colonizing the goddess, we're going to be talking about Chico the um, abundance, prosperity. I forgot what goddess. What did I say? She was the goddess. Uh, sustenance, I think. All right. One more card for uh, today is going to be a Halloween oracle. All right. Some say astronomical Samhain is November 5th. Some have said it's November 7th. I am not exactly um, perfectly correct of when is astronomical Samhain, but whether it is tomorrow or Thursday, we can still honor those energies. And this is the midnight Allow yourself to relax into the benevolent darkness of midnight. You might feel this is your darkest hour, but know that the light will return. The dawn always follows the darkest night. Know, too, that it's important to recognize that we all have darkness within us, just as we have light, and this isn't something to hide from. The dark it envelops me, the witching hour awaits. True magic and enchantment and spells that change fates. One more time. Allow yourself to relax in the benevolent darkness of midnight. You might feel this is your darkest hour, but no. Ah, I got lost. Know that the light will return again. The dawn always follows the darkest night. Know, too, that it is important to recognize that we all have darkness within us, just as we have light, and this isn't something to hide from. The dark it envelops me, the witch in our awaits, true magic and enchantment, and spells that change fates. In my opinion, the whole reading really is very cohesive and coherent because on the one end we're being told not to be too judgmental 
and to try to keep her mind calm. And then we are advised to ask questions and also to understand that darkness is also within us. So letting go of perfectionism, you know, part of the part of the message for me is let go of per perfectionism and overthinking, overjudging, you know. Hello, AJ. Uh, you you kind of came in at the very end of the reading, but uh, AJ always reminds me that I'm going to be at Mindful Baking Cafe on Friday. I'll see you there. I'll see you Sunday on the Decolonizing the Goddess class for those who take my online classes. And I will see you in person at the Fortuna, um, Fortuna's Embrace Workshop. And for those who are online, uh, you can buy the classes on demand as a series or as a single standalone class. And I forgot to tell you, you can also hire me for tarot readings. I don't use Calendly anymore. So you can go to bluewitch.org slash book. And silly me, I stopped using Calendly a month ago. And I'm like, why is nobody hiring me? Because nobody knows where I am. Blue, uh, bluewitch.org slash book. Thank you all for watching. And until we meet again, never forget that you are love. Bye-bye.